Hi everybody, it's Joey. I really, really want to do um, this special holiday themed haul. Yes, I want to do this special holiday themed haul because I feel like the holidays are coming up and I'm not in the Christmas spirit at all. Wait a second. <laughs> So sorry, I always do that crap. I'm not in the Christmas spirit at all, and I'm making this video to maybe hopefully get into the Christmas spirit. Let's see if it works. I don't know. But um, this is combined two hauls: the Winter Licious haul and the um, Holly Jolly Christmas tag too. That I combine the two. That there's some questions from that tag, some questions from that tag. Honestly, um. I'm making this my own like I do with all the other tag videos, but I know I did a Holly Jolly tag last year. This is part two. This is going to be totally different questions, by the way. And um, I'm going to name it Holly Joey tag, like last time, just to be cute with it, you know, because my name's Joey, whatever. But um, there's 12 questions, and let's get started. It says... Do, the first question is, do you start your Christmas shopping on Black Friday or wait until the last minute? Um, I really don't go Christmas shopping, like, I don't, I mean, the only people I go Christmas shopping for is my immediate family. Sometimes I go shopping for my friends, but this year, um, money's really tight, so I don't know if I'm gonna really go shopping for my friends. I may just go shopping for my dad. And my brother, and that's really it. Maybe my grandparents, but that's it. I really don't go uh, Christmas shopping for anybody. Um, I know it's sad. I want to, but I just don't know what people like. And I mean, I like wrapping gifts, but I can't really wrap gifts. Like I really can't. Like that's why I usually just put the gifts in a gift bag and put some paper in, on top of it and call it a day, because I can't wrap for shit. But, um, I use I don't go on Black Friday. I never went on Black I I don't even know how Black Friday is. I, I heard it's like a nightmare. I mean, I don't want to live through that nightmare. I really don't. So I never want to do that or put myself in that situation at Black Friday. So I never, I'm probably never going to do it. I'll probably just stay in the house on Black Friday. But I usually do my Christmas shopping a couple weeks before Christmas. It's not the last minute either. It's just a few weeks before Christmas and a few, probably a week or two after Black Friday. Um, second a question is, if you could be in any Christmas movie, what would it be? I have the movie right here. It's called The Polar Express. The reason why I would want to be in this uh, Christmas movie is because it makes you still believe in, in, in the holiday season, even though if you had tragic stuff happen to you or if you still don't, you know, you don't believe. It's not even about believing in Santa. It's just believing in just being happy again. And Christmas is a time to be happy. And I feel like most people don't know how to be happy. Because, like, they've had, like, hardships throughout the year. And when Christmas time comes, they don't even want to celebrate it. And I feel like this movie just makes you makes you happy. And it's just about this boy who magically... Uh, I guess there's a train station near where he lives. And magically, um... The Polar Express pulls up in front of his house, but it's not the normal train that's obviously near his house. It's a ma it's a magical train. He goes outside to see, and he's like, and the train stops, and the guy comes out. It's Tom Hanks, and he's like, oh, you know, um, I want you to come on board. We're going to go see Santa or something. And I guess he thinks he's dreaming at this point, so he's like, yeah, let's go. Let's just go inside the Polar. Yeah, let's go into the train. Let's go see Santa. He probably he just thinks he's dreaming. But at the end, I mean, you probably already saw this. I'm not ruining anything. But at the end, you know, he wakes up and he's thinking, yeah, it was a dream. But then he goes downstairs and there's a letter from Santa. And it says all the stuff that he did the night before. And the parents don't recall writing that note. And it was actually from Santa. And there's this bell that he, that Santa gave him, and he shakes the bell, and if you still believe in Christmas, in general, the bell will ring. If you don't, there's not going to be a ringing in the bell. So he rings the bell, and it works, and then his parents pick up the bell. He's like, oh, what did Santa give you? Picks up the bell, rings it, 
there's no ring. He's like, they're like, oh, it's broken. That's such a shame. And, but it's not broken. They just can't hear because they don't believe anymore. But anyways, I'm rambling, rambling on. That's the movie I want to be in. Because, in fact, I do want to wake up one more, uh, one night and just go outside, have a magical train appear, go inside the magical train, have some hot chocolate, um, friggin' go to Santa's workshop and get a magical bell and yeah I mean yeah who wouldn't want to do that right okay anyways on to the next question when do oh no no what's your favorite lip product my favorite lip product uh, this is the third question my favorite lip product for Christmas is the only Christmas lip gloss I got and it's for Bath and Body Works called Pink Sugar Plum and it's just a frosted sheer glittery gloss that tastes like candy okay um, when does your family put a, up your Christmas tree and who decorates it? Okay. I really don't talk about my family because we have a very dysfunctional family in this house. But to be completely, completely honest, um, what I used to do when I used to live in Staten Island, I used to, we used to put up the tree, you know, a few weeks before Christmas, whatever. And we would all decorate it with Christmas songs in the background and stuff like that. But since we don't do that anymore, because my mother died, and I don't live on Staten Island anymore, I live with my father and my stepmother, we just, I guess they just put up the Christmas tree on their own. Honestly, this is what I'm talking about, about not being in the Christmas spirit. You know, my mother died, and I'm just, after that, I just haven't been interested. There's the bug in my room. I'm gonna get that later. Can't stand. Where the butt? It's freezing out. Like, don't they like not survive anymore? Whatever. But um, I just haven't been into it. To be completely honest, I just haven't been into it ever since. And it's just not. So they just put it up. They decorate it, whatever they do. I really don't know. I really don't pay any mind, honestly. Um, the fifth question is. Favorite went to scent. My favorite went to scent. Um, I really, really like the Twisted Pepperant from uh, the Christmas line from Bath and Body Works and Vanilla Bean Noel from the uh, Bath and Body Works. They both smell really, really good. This smells like Christmas home baked cookies and this smells like chocolate peppermints. Uh, they both smell really, really good for the holiday season. And I usually don't wear, like, when I wear body splashes, it's, it's, I wear them on a day where I don't really do nothing, or if I'm in the house, or right after I get out of the shower, I normally spray it on right before I go to bed, or I spray it, like, on my sheets. Like, that's what I do with body splashes. But these particular body splashes, I may just spray on when I go out on Thanksgiving, or go out on Christmas, whatever I'm doing, like, I'll just probably spray these. I really would. I usually spray perfume, but I'll probably spray these. They're really cute. I also want to mention, um, Frosted Snowberry. Now, you guys are probably thinking, why the hell do I still have this? Well, as you know, I tried to give it away to someone, the winner of the contest, and they still have not emailed me their address. And I don't, I don't blame them, because I wouldn't want to mail someone that, um, a stranger their address either, but I had sincere intentions. I would have sent them this. I had sincere intentions. I wasn't going to do anything with the address. I would have just sent them the body splashes. But I guess they felt uncomfortable. They didn't send me the um, address. And that's fine. But as I said, he, she was the winner of the contest. And since she has it, I don't know who else to really pick. So I just kept it. And honestly, to God, I'm kind of happy I kept it. And I'm kind of glad she didn't give me her address. I wanted to give it away. And I would have given it away. But I actually grew to really like it. I sprayed it on here. I actually grew to really like it. Um, you know, I get the caramel now. I do. Like, I grew to really like it. I don't know. It's just something that I grew to love. Um, I smell the caramel. It actually smells more of a blackberry smell than I originally. I thought it smelled just a hint of berry. It actually smells a lot of, like, blackberries now. It actually smells... It actually really... It's a lot of berry, and I actually like it now. And, you know, it's kind of weird because I really wasn't caring for it at first, but now I'm, I'm in love with it. 
I guess you just have to give uh, fragrances a chance. That's why when you go in the store and in Bath Bibles and you spray, make sure you keep it on the skin for the whole day. Like, after you spray it, walk around the mall or the store or whatever and keep smelling it. And even if you feel like you don't like it, just keep it on the skin. You may grow to love it. Um, yeah. That's what happened with this one. The next question is, um, all-time favorite Christmas, um, well, it's actually Christmas holiday movie, but I actually put fa uh, all-time favorite Christmas episode in a show, and all-time favorite Christmas movie. Okay, my favorite Christmas episode that from any other show, my favorite show of all time is That's a Raven. And actually, they had a holiday episode that was my favorite episode. And I have the DVD. This is actually a bunch of uh, different Christmas episodes from different Disney Channel shows on the Disney Channel. But my favorite was the That's So Raven one. It says, the um, summary of this is, Join Raven in a hunt for an escape clause when she secretly opens her Christmas present and breaks it. This always gets me in the Christmas mood. I love this Christmas episode. It's just my ultimate favorite like it really gets me into the spirit even when i'm not into it and that's why i gotta see this episode really soon because as i said i'm really not into the christmas spirit um anyways and my ultimate favorite christmas movie is how the grinch stole christmas which i'm kidding i actually saw this with my mom when it first came out i think it came out in the year 2000 i actually remember sitting in the theater watching the movie <sighs> it was really good and i lo i really do love this movie it is my favorite. They're just always so happy in that movie. But whatever. Except for the Grinch, of course. But, um, yeah. Seventh question is, would you rather live in a gingerbread house or in Santa's workshop? I guess if you live in Santa's workshop, you get tons of great gifts. But, um, I wouldn't want to live in Santa's workshop because I think it's small, you know, to cater more towards the elves. And I would actually want to live in the gingerbread house because the gingerbread house, um, you'll never go hungry. Yeah, you probably become fat, but I'm already gaining weight, so it doesn't even matter. Everything tastes great. And I love candy, so why not? And I actually really love gingerbread cookies. And it would be super cool to live in a gingerbread house. Like, that would be just super, 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 super cool. I've actually made a gingerbread house before when I was a child. I haven't made one in a long, long time, though. Anyways, um, on to the next question, which is the eighth question. Tell us your Christmas Eve and Christmas Day traditions. Oh. Again, this goes back to this dysfunctional family. Um, I'm just going to tell you what I used to do. Uh, what I used to do for Christmas Eve um, was go to my grandma's house. My grandma on Staten Island would have Christmas Eve. And um, the family would get together. My mom, my uh, dad, my sister, brother, my Aunt Abby, my Uncle Craig, my two cousins, Craig and Ryan. Um, who else? Uh, my Uncle Tommy, who's who's deceased. Um, he passed away. My aunt, um, my aunt, um, what was that? For me, Aunt Frances. I love her. She actually is dead, too. And, um, yeah, I told you my mom's dead. And, um, and my grandpa, who's dead, too. And my grandma, she's still alive. Um, we would all celebrate it. And it was a lot, a lot of fun. And it was just a lot of fun. Uh, it was, it was great times. Great times. But ever since, you know, then, most of the family has died. And my grandma just doesn't feel like celebrating anymore. And I really don't blame her. Um... Christmas Day traditions, um, every year we will go to uh, Long Island, my, my second aunt, Dot, she has a really nice house, and we would go and celebrate, on Christmas Eve, we would celebrate on my mom's side of the family, she just told you, and on Christmas Day, we would celebrate on my dad's side of the family, which was all his second cousins, grand, my grandparents on that side, my aunt and uncle on that side, you know, all that, and the cousins on that side, and that, and we would just celebrate it, and it was a really, a lot of fun, great food, everything. Um, that stopped too because uh, my great grandmother died. I know a lot of deaths in my family. My great grandmother died. She was ninety eight. God bless her. Like she was like, really old. Like so, you know, she lived a long life. But she died, and then my my aunt died. I really didn't feel like celebrating the holiday season or having Christmas at her house anymore because I was her mother, and I don't blame her. So whatever. So basically, Christmas and Christmas Eve went to total shit. 
basically. There's really no more traditions. There's, everyone died. It's not like the good old times. It's really not sad, but true. <clears throat> um, now, today, Christmas Eve, we do nothing. And Christmas Day, we have it at our house. But I think this year, we're not even going to have it at our house anymore. So I don't even know what we're going to do. Um, anyway, so the next question is a nice question. And if it's, it's, if you could be under the mistletoe with anyone, who would it be? Um... I know this is going to sound freaky, but it, actually, I would be with my mom, but I know that that's kind of freaky. I mean, I wouldn't, won't be making out, but, like, just, like, kiss on the cheek, whatever. I would, but besides from that, I mean, that's actually freaky, but <laughs> actually, the person who I want to be under the mistletoe with is probably my crush. I'm not going to say his name, because <laughs> that would be weird, but it's just a crush. It's stupid. I'm, you know, that's the only person, you know... Besides, my mom probably would want to be under the mistletoe with, but honestly, that's not going to happen, so. Um, the tenth question is, what's at the top of your Christmas list? Basically, since I've been gaining weight, clothes. It's just clothes. Um, specifically, a leather jacket I want. I want this black leather jacket. Um, it's actually a lot of money, but, but I'm going to get it for Christmas, and, um, yeah. That's basically what's on the top of my Christmas list. And then birth my birthday is a couple days after Christmas, so... Um, but, but my family always celebrated separately. Like, the money I get for Christmas is not the money I get for my birthday. It's, this, it's separate. Um, the next question is... What are your plans for the holidays this year? I really honestly don't know. Uh, I'll add Thanksgiving into this. Thanksgiving is coming up in a couple of days. I may post this video after Thanksgiving or before Thanksgiving. I really don't know, but just know I've uh, I I made this and produced this video a couple of days before Thanksgiving. But for Thanksgiving, I really don't know. I may just go out to a restaurant. I may just go to my friend's house. I really don't freaking know at this point. I don't know. Um, again, Thanksgiving used to be at my grandma's house, but now that all went to shit. Um. And Christmas Eve, um, this year, I do, uh, we do nothing. We do nothing for Christmas Eve. And Christmas Day, we might have it at the house, we might not. Um, and then the last thing is, what's your ultimate, this is the last question, it's the 12th question. It's what's your ultimate favorite thing about the holiday season? This is really tough because, as I said, I'm really not into the Christmas spirit. I haven't been into the Christmas spirit in a long, long time. I know last year, I posted that video on Christmas and I, I was really happy, but, um, I was really hiding. I was hiding my pain in the video. I really wasn't so happy. I was happy because my friends were over for Christmas. That was the first time my friends ever came over. And um, I was just, I was happy, you know. I drank a little, and that's why <laughs> in the video, like, I was, like, cracking up. I was a little drunk. But, you know, I do that because I don't want to cope with the pain anymore. I don't want to do it. I just drink to just not cope with it anymore. I just don't want to deal with it anymore. So, that's what I do. So I sip and I tip and I deck the halls. <laughs> but um, my favorite thing about the holiday season is... It used to be spending it with family. Family traditions and... Um, I guess opening gifts or whatever. But it was mostly family traditions. But... Um, it's obviously not my favorite thing anymore because all the traditions are gone and it's not how it, it used to be, basically. But that's it. That's my Holly Joey tag. I know I'm not really Holly Jolly throughout this video, and but you know I thought I would do it. Um, I'm really you know I'm not in, I'm not that happy, but you know I'm, <clears throat> I'm trying to get happier. You know what am I gonna do? I don't have the easiest life. But that's it. Um, this is a tag video, so I guess I have to tag people. I tag all my subscribers, and people who were not subscribed to me watching this video, subscribe. Because, well, you can just tag yourself and do the video yourself, whatever. Um, that's it. I hope you guys have a happy holidays, happy Thanksgiving, happy Christmas, happy all that. And But I'll be making videos... Um, this may be the last video I'll make in, the, uh, in a while, although I've been making a lot of videos. But, like... Recently, like, I just haven't been into it, so, um, I think in the future, I'm just, I'll make, a, I'll make, like, another video before the holiday season comes, so, you'll see me again. Um, but until next time, 
you know, have a happy holidays, and I love you, love, love you guys. Mwah.